my name is Raymond Chua and uh, I'm going to show you how I process my Milky Way photographs taken in uh, very high light, very heavy light pollution Singapore and how I bring out the Milky Way step by step using two software. First, Photoshop and which of course is the paid software and second one is called Sequitor. It's a free software and you can download freely and use it for your uh, for this process. Uh, I will put a link to the place where you can download from in the description below. So let's get on with it. First of all, you will locate all the raw files which you have taken of the Milky Way. In this case, there are total of 15 shots which I've taken to uh, in the same place on the same and the same with the same setting and I'm only going to drag all of them into Photoshop. So I will drag them into my Photoshop. You will open up in Camera Raw and there are not many things you need to do here. I usually take care of the temperature setting. In this case I like a little bit of an, of a blue in the sub picture so I will set to 450 that's my style. For the tint, I will probably increase to 4 and I will leave practically everything else untouched. Once I've set, once I've done for the first photo, I will sync it with the rest of the photo by selecting all and then click again to set sync setting. Click OK to sync all of them. So all of them have now sync with the same setting of the temperature as well as the tint. I will save the images. Usually I will leave it on the same location. In this case it's in my desktop. And I will call it a name which I can can recall later. So I will call it Milky Way at Real Corridor. Starting also with the two digit number and the beginning number of the two digit will be 01. And file extension notice is must be set to TIFF. Okay, only TIFF format will do. And the rest we will leave it untouched and click save. You will take a few minutes. So you can be, please be patient and let it save. Okay, one is once it is uh, completed. Click done. That's all you need to do with this. You will now open up the Sequitor software. When you open up the Sequitor software, this is what you see. It asks you to add star images. So click on star images and navigate to where the star images were located just now. I remember we save it on the desktop and uh, we called it Milky Way at Blue Corridor, TIFF file, and numbering from 01 to 15. All I need to do is to select all the 15 of them. Okay, and click open. Okay, it's very fast and you will open up in the sequitor. And what you see now is star images is populated and you will automatically set the base image as the middle of the photograph. Okay. Since all the photos are the same, so any one is okay. So in this case, 08 is set as a base image. Bring it further down, we leave the noise image, uh, uh, ignore it because we don't have a noise noise image. Vignetting images also we do not have anything. But output, you must click put. And this is where you're asking you where, where you're going to save the output to finally. We can save it together with the T file, no issue. And uh, I'll just call it a meaningful name here. So we just say Milky Way Stack. Okay, something meaningful to you. And click Save. So remember, the output will be called Milky Way Stack. Right, not, it's not done yet. So we we'll go down to the bottom panel, Composition Align Stop click 
and what you see here is it is already checked for, for this part we don't want accumulation we want to freeze the ground because we have foreground which are the leaves and the shrubs and so on so we want to freeze the ground okay and selective keep it checked is fine then next part is very important under align style you have the sky region so click you don't want the full area but we want a mask which will mask out the sky the sky. We want to freeze only the foreground, the the trees and so on, but the the stars are frozen. So what I need to do, what you need to do now is to you see the cursor with the circular shape there. All I need to do is to paint over the sky using this. Try to go to as close as possible to the leaves. It's not necessary to be very accurate but try to be accurate so you take a while if you have all the patient in the world please do it slowly okay if you accidentally painted over uh, uh, the leaves for example like that and which you think is not right just use your mouse right click on the mouse and you will do and then paint over again you will paint over that part which you think you have over covered just now okay uh, I won't go into very detail on this so let's leave it as it is I probably leave a bit of a gap here and there but it doesn't matter we finish with the second tab we go to auto brightness in this case set to on we want it to be on so that you will auto, we will set the auto brightness for you HDR high, dy high dynamic range off keep it off Remove dynamic noises, I will keep it on. Reduce distortion auto, but click and select complex. Okay, set, set the complex for ultra wide angle lenses instead of tele lenses. Reduce light pollution, yeah, we want to definitely reduce, try to reduce that, so keep it on, keep it uneven. Um, enhance starlight obviously on you want to make the star as bright as possible merge 4 pixel off is fine because we don't want to shrink down the size of the photo this is actually to make the photos smaller time lapse is not a time lapse color space will leave it as such okay so this all you need to do for the setting click OK you will take a while again, so be patient. Okay, we are we have done the stacking, and uh, the result is shown now on the screen. We have the Milky Way now more obvious, but there are some artifact artifacts here and a little bit here, which we'll take care of it later on. All right, so we will collapse this. In, uh, in shops and let's open it in Photoshop navigate to the folder we want and in this case the desktop and the file we are looking for is a Milky Way stack TIFF file with a value with a size of 129 megabyte so it's a huge file bring this to Photoshop and let it open in raw in camera raw okay this is the, the the stack photo which will do some adjustment now i will in, enhance the contrast but not too much so that not to introduce bending effect i will reduce the, the highlight to bring down the highlight at the horizon and i'll bring out the shadow to brighten up the foreground to so that let the foreground be more obvious you can see now the road is now more obvious and the, the white slider again is bring it down a little bit to bring down the the sort of the, the, the bright part on the, on the horizon the black yes we got to bring it up further to enhance the brightness okay the rest of the, the slider texture you leave it 
clarity if you want you can increase a little bit the haze sometimes a little bit but not to not to overdo it we don't want to introduce halo okay once is that is done i'll open up open image in photoshop okay this is after the adjustment in camera raw and uh, we're going to do something about this part and this part and also to enhance the, the contrast of the at the center of the Milky Way. What I need to do is to duplicate this layer by Control J. Control J is to cop to duplicate the background so that you have a layer one, and we work on the layer one. Go down to the pan the layer panel, and you can see this icon. Click and select curves. Now the curve is uh, well. We we ought to do some target adjustment on the curve now. Click on the hand button, and as you click the hand button, you can see the cursor change to an eyedropper. Bring it as bring it closer to a to the Milky Way part and choose a location which is the darkest area in the Milky Way in this case probably here and once you select that area drag down because you want the darker area to be darker and then the brighter area of the Milky Way which is roughly here click and then drag up so you are trying to enhance the Milky Way okay the Milky Way is now enhanced the other the part, the rest of the photo is also affected which we will take care afterward so you can see the curve is now slightly of an s shape go back to layers you can see there's a white mask automatically created we want to invert this white mask by control i and using the brush tool click on using the brush tool tool and uh, selecting a hardness which is zero and an opacity opacity about thirty percent about thirty percent and uh, just slightly dab on the Milky Way dab. Okay, in this case you are dabbing only a little bit here and there on the Milky Way. If you think effect is too much, reduce the opacity to smaller first okay now since you have done something on the center part of the Milky Way the rest of the image must also be uh, adjusted a little bit so that to make the transition less obvious so I would like to change the opacity to opacity to do it to 15% or there about and make I mean uh, using the same brush we're going to brush the rest of the image now the part which we are we haven't touched just now. This part is actually to smooth out the transition between the, the thing adjusted at the Milky Way and the rest of the sky. You can take a your time to slowly do this, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, once you have done that and you're happy with the result, let's say we will now we will merge down the, the two layer so that it become the, the curve adjustment layer is now permanent and what I want, it, want to do is to um, take care of this artifacts here and take care of the artifacts here so we try two methods first method you use spot healing brush make the heal spot the, the brush as big as the artifacts and so click on it you can see it's gone for this case i'm not sure whether it will work but let's try and we'll bring bring uh make the size of the brush as big as the artifacts and then click on it well it's not doing a very good job but it's still leaving a little bit of artifacts here don't worry we'll go back to the second step which is patch two patch two and in patch 2, you will highlight the area you want to adjust and drag it just further up only. And Control D 
to take a look. It will, the effect is still not, it's still there. Do one more time. We may have to do a bit of a, a bit more adjustment, okay? Uh, well, the, 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 the thing is still there. Let's go back to spot healing brush. I make the size now smaller and let's see this time better. Okay, it will, it's not as obvious, but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. You can take your time and slowly make the um, spot go away. And uh, that's that's roughly the workflow I will take. Of course, you can spend time times on really small adjustment like that. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, this is a gist of thing which I want to share with all of you. And uh, uh, hope that you will encouraged. You'll be encouraged to take out your camera and go to a dark place in Singapore, for example, the real corridor, and start shooting Milky Way and process it if you have patience. So, thank you very much for watching. And if you if you have any questions, do put down in the comment. I'll, get, I'll try to respond to that as soon as possible. Okay, thank you and goodbye.